Hi everyone, I am Ariel Lim and this is Ariel Lim Yoga. So you know who I am, you know what we're doing. Thank you for joining me on the mat today for a full body stretch yoga practice. I am still recovering from COVID and I've been, you know, a lot more sedentary than usual. So I am in need of a full body stretch. So we are going to take this time on the mat today to just work through the body bring some movement into the body and just feel good. So we're gonna start today's practice on our back. So take your time getting there. We'll lay all the way down, stretching our legs out in front of us. And then we'll reach our arms up and overhead for just a big full body stretch. Stretch those toes, point and flex the feet maybe Give those wrists a few twirls or maybe you just reach all the way up and back behind you. Stretch it out. Take a nice big inhale. Find as much space and length through the body as you can. And exhale. So just surrender your weight into the mat for a moment. Settling into our practice. On our next inhale, we're going to reach those arms up and back again then we're going to take our right hand grab our left wrist and pull that left arm towards the top right corner of our mat here and then we're going to do the same thing with our feet bringing our feet over to the bottom right corner maybe you take that left foot and cross it over the right ankle deepening the side body stretch take an inhale breathe through those feet up through the leg through the side body through the arm and out through the left fingertips. Another deep breath, just like that. And exhale to release. We'll come back to center and then we'll take the left hand, grab the right wrist and pull it over to the left, bringing our feet to the bottom left corner of the mat, maybe crossing that right foot over the left ankle. Breathing in through the feet, up through the legs, through the side of the body, up through the shoulders, the arm, out through the fingertips. Another nice big inhale here. And exhale. We'll come back to center. We'll bring the right knee up. We'll hug it in. Bring it up close to the chest for a moment. And then we'll gently bring that right knee over to the left for a supine twist extending the right arm out maybe we gaze up at the sky or over at the right fingertips inhale and exhale trying to bring that right shoulder down to the mat really feeling the stretch wake up the spine wake up the body one of my favorite stretches to do Inhale, we'll come back to center, squeeze that right leg in for just a second. And then we'll extend it back out and we'll bring the left leg in, squeezing it up towards the chest. Maybe you rock it side to side a little bit. And then we'll gently guide that left leg over to the right, with the right hand, extending the left arm out beside us, either looking up at the ceiling or over at that left hand. Take a nice Deep inhale here and exhale to twist, to let go, letting that left shoulder come in contact with the mat at the best way possible here. Take a nice deep inhale and then we'll come back to center, hugging both knees into the chest. We'll wrap our arms around our shins, rock side to side, just giving our lower back a little massage here. And then we'll take this rocking motion back and forth and rock up to a nice seated position or however you get to seated is just fine today. Take a nice comfortable seat in the center of your mat. I'm in half lotus so you can take an easy seated position or 
full lotus being in the kneeling position, whatever feels good. You can even sit on a block or a pillow. We'll sit up nice and tall. The spine is nice and straight here. We're gonna take a nice inhale, bringing the shoulders up to the ears. And exhale to bring the shoulders back and down, let them relax. Top of the head is gonna be reaching up Towards the ceiling, we're going to keep our chin parallel with our mat. On our next inhale, we'll rise the arms up and overhead, reaching up towards the ceiling. The palms meet, the fingers interlace, and we'll press those hands away. Inhale and exhale to bring that right hand down to the right side of the mat. And we'll reach up and over with the left, another side body stretch. I've been laying down quite a bit, so this feels especially nice today. We'll inhale back to center, interlace those fingers, press the palms away, and then we'll come over to the left, bringing the right hand up and over for that side body stretch. Maybe you look up towards the right palm, inhale, and exhale. We'll come back to center, interlace those fingers, press the palms away once more, and this time leading with the chest, we'll start to come forward into a forward fold. Keep the seat and the hips nice and heavy as you reach forward with the fingertips, finding a nice stretch in the low back, in the shoulders, in the upper arms, the forearms. Bring your head down. You don't have to bring it all the way to the mat. You can bring it to a block or a pillow as well. And just take a few breaths here, filling up the body, expanding and exhaling to let go, surrendering to the stretch. Another nice deep inhale, just like that. And exhale, taking a moment here to let go. Beautiful. We're going to make our way into a tabletop position in the center of our mat. Spread those fingers nice and wide so you don't have all of the weight of your body dumping into your wrist. Your wrist will come underneath the shoulders. Your knees will be underneath your hip points. We're going to hug those ribs in so we're not collapsing here. We have a nice active tabletop position where Pressing into the mat with our legs, top of our feet, with our hands. So anywhere we're in contact with the mat, we're pressing the ground away from us. And we're going to move into some cat-cow. So on an inhale, we're going to drop that belly, lift the chin, lift the tailbone. Inhale. Exhale, we're pressing that ground away, rounding the spine. Bringing the belly button up towards the spine, the chin to the chest for our cat pose. Inhale, cow. Exhale, back into your cat. Now we'll do a few rounds following our own breath, our own pace. Inhaling into our cow pose. And exhaling to round the spine, press the ground away into our cat. Just a few more rounds. There is no rest. And your next. Inhale, return to a neutral tabletop position. We're going to bring the big toes to touch, extend the knees out as wide as the mat or as wide as is comfortable for your body. And sink those hips back towards our heels. Reach forward for a beautiful extended child's pose, balasana. Bring your forehead to the mat. As you're trying to stay heavy in the seat and bring your booty towards your heels. You'll be reaching forward so you get that nice stretch. 
along the shoulders, the side body, and the low back. It's a nice juicy stretch here. We'll try to stay active in this one. Maybe you tent the fingertips to have more of a stretch in the shoulders. Maybe you rock your forehead side to side on the mat, giving it a nice massage. Waking up the third eye. Maybe you drop the arms back down to the mat, bring the hands together in prayer, bring the elbows a little bit closer in, and bring your little shark fin up and overhead to the back of the neck, walking the elbows a little bit more forward now, feeling that stretch in the upper back, in the biceps and traps, triceps. Inhale and exhale to release your hands to the mat and walk yourself back up to a nice tabletop position. Find your foundation, bring your wrists underneath the shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, and then we'll tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Pedal it out here, waking up the backs of the legs. Maybe your ankle is clicking, I know mine is. Embrace it. We'll bring our big toes to touch on an inhale, extend that right leg up and back, three-legged dog, and exhale to bring that foot between the hands. We'll lower the left knee to the mat, bring the top of the left foot to the mat, and we'll rise up for a low lunge, taking the arms up with us. Maybe you do a little mini back bend here. Inhale. And exhale. Take another nice deep inhale here. Try to keep your knee over the ankle. And exhale, the hands together and down to heart center. We're going to take our left elbow, bring it outside of the right knee, twisting over to the right looking up at the sky or over that left shoulder, sorry, right shoulder. Inhale. And exhale, we'll frame the front foot, lift the back toes up and step back to downward facing dog. Paddling it out for a second. And then we'll bring the big toes to touch and on an inhale, extend that left leg up and back. Three-legged dog on this side, inhale. And exhale to bring that foot between the hands, lower the right knee and the top of the right foot to the mat. And we'll come up for a nice low lunge. Hands extended, fingers reaching towards the ceiling. Maybe you take a mini back bend. Exhale. Take another nice deep inhale, this time breathing through the front foot. Letting it come up through the fingertips, and as you exhale, it comes back down out of the back foot. Finding more depth in this low lunge, we'll bring the hands together, hands to heart center, and take our prayer twist to the left, hooking that right elbow outside the left knee, maybe gazing over the left shoulder. See, I got it right this time. <laughs> take a nice deep inhale here. And exhale, we'll frame the front foot with our hands, tuck the back toes, step back, downward facing dog. Beautiful, my friends. From here, we'll bring the big toes to touch once again, extending that right leg up and back, and then we'll bring the right knee towards the right edge of the mat, the right foot towards the left. And come down for our pigeon pose. Oh, I need a pigeon pose. One of my favorites. If this is a little too intense for you, you can always come around, bring that left foot forward, bring that right foot over on top of the left thigh. Getting the same kind of benefits, figure four stretch. And if you can do a little bit more, you can bring that left foot to the floor and take the shin up closer to the chest. But if you're in pigeon, 
We'll take a few breaths here. Finding this nice stretch in the hips, in the glutes. Take a nice deep inhale. Then exhale. Maybe you come down to the forearms. Staying active in the shoulders, but letting the head hang heavy here. Maybe you find some movement in your pigeon pose. Slowly swing side to side. Or maybe you enjoy a moment of stillness. Take a nice deep inhale, breathing all the way into the hips, the glutes, the quads, and exhale to surrender, to let go, to enjoy the stretch. Take a couple more breaths at your own pace here. Beautiful. We'll make our way back up, tuck in that back toe, step back, downward facing dog. Pedal it out for a second. And then we'll bring those big toes to touch and extend the left leg up and back, the three legged dog. And then we'll bring the left knee to the left side of the mat, the left foot to the right side of the mat, and come down for our pigeon pose. If you could do pigeon on one side and now this side's not feeling it. By all means, do the figure fours that we um, went over in the last round. Whatever feels good in your body. You are the expert in your body. I am just a guide. So you follow what feels good in your body today. Take a nice deep inhale in whichever position you chose. And exhale. You can relax into the stretch. If you're in pigeon, you can come down to the forearms. If you're sitting up, you can bring the chin to the chest. Get a little extra stretch in the back of the neck, the cervical spine. Take a nice deep breath, breathing into those hips, those quads, those glutes. And exhale. Finding a little extra depth here, a little extra relief. Taking a few more breaths in your posture of choice here, at your own pace. Beautiful. We'll start to slowly come back up here. And then we're going to sit towards our left hip if we're in pigeon. And if you're seated upright, we'll be extending our legs out in front of us for a moment, shaking it off. And then we're going to bend our left, or sorry, our right leg so that our right foot is pressed against our left thigh. We'll sit up. Nice and tall, extending the arms up and overhead. Maybe you have a bend in that left leg if having it straight is a little much on your hamstring. Whatever feels good to you. And then we'll slowly, leading with the chest, take a nice forward fold, letting the hands rest wherever they land. Inhale, find a little extra length in that spine. And exhale. The fold. Now I say lead with the chest because we want to bring our chest down close to the knee, keeping the length in our spine. There's really no need to do the whole head to knee, nose to knee. It's just an intention here. Take a nice deep inhale, breathing into that low back, and exhale. We'll slowly come back up and we'll take that stretch to the other side, extending the right leg, bringing the left foot to the right thigh, sitting up nice and tall, reaching up and overhead, and exhale to fold, letting the hands rest wherever they land. 
beating with that heart. Take a nice deep inhale. Find a little extra length. Maybe a little more space in the spine. And exhale. To fold, to surrender. To release any tension we're holding on to in the leg, in the low back. Maybe you're tense in the face. You can maybe let go of the muscles in the forehead, the jaw. I'm guilty of clenching my teeth, so I have to remind myself all the time. We'll slowly begin to roll back up to a nice seated position. We'll bring the soles of our feet together. We'll hold on to our feet. Maybe you give the soles of the feet, a little massage. And then you can just gently flap your little wings here in our nice butterfly position. Just a gentle hip opener here. You can bring the heels out a little further if you need a little more space. Or if you want to intensify your stretch, you can bring the heels a little closer to you. And when you're ready, you can find a moment of stillness here, sitting up nice and tall. And then we'll press those elbows into the thighs and just leading with the chest, come forward just a little bit. We're not going too far into the stretch, just until we feel a little something in the low back and the hips. Inhale. And exhale. Take another nice deep inhale. And exhale, slowly coming back up. We'll find a comfortable seated position. We'll do a quick twist on either side just to close out our practice. So we'll take the left hand, bring it to the right knee or thigh. Plant the right fingertips behind us and sit up nice and tall. Exhale, maybe gaze over that right shoulder for a moment. Beautiful. We'll come back to center and take our twist over to the left. Sit up nice and tall here. Inhale. And exhale, gazing over that back shoulder just for a moment. Inhale, back to center. Close your eyes. Have your palms. Resting on your thighs or your knees, facing the sky. And just take a moment to scan your body. Notice your energy. Notice how you're feeling. Notice how just a little bit of gentle stretching changes the way your body feels and changes the way you feel. doesn't take a lot of time on the mat to just make that little bit of a difference that'll get you through your day. So extend some gratitude to yourself in this moment for doing just that. Take a nice deep inhale as we rise our arms up and overhead the hands meet and come down to heart center in a prayer position. Open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today for a full body yoga practice, full body stretch. I feel nice and relaxed and my body feels good and I hope yours does too. As always, from my heart to yours.